Holy guacamole, we've got Eternal Masters. Now, this set is a, another limited print run like Modern Masters, although this time we're looking at Eternal formats. It is bringing crazy reprints like Mana Crypt, Krakus, Force of Will, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Wasteland, Sneak Attack, Natural Order Vampiric Tutor, and so many more. What makes it even more interesting to me as a collector some of these foils are pretty crazy expensive. Hundreds of dollars for Force of Will foils, Jace foils, Wasteland foils over 100, Sneak Attack foils, Vampiric Tutor foils, a $100 bill. There is serious uh, value in this set as a buyer and opener of cards here at release. Of course, these prices will go down. This is my midnight release box. Uh, my local game store, Games Universe in Menominee Falls. Uh, actually let, uh, where I draft, uh, was allowing pre-orders at um, MSRP, and they looked after the local players, so I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, I will be drafting there this weekend, hopefully, some Eternal Masters drafts. Oh my glob. Pull these out. I did not go too crazy buying uh, Eternal Masters uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the most important one being it's very expensive. Uh, even with uh, even at MSRP, you're still looking at $250 a box. So let's get right into it. Hopefully we can find some uh, spicy Mana War. That's cool. Some spicy foils. Uh, Centaur Chieftain. Relic of Progenitus, Animate Dead, and our very first rare is Goblin Trenches. And our foil in the pack is a Pacifism. Here we have our first Spirit Token with uh, the puzzle on the back uh, of the token. So that should be interesting. I know the interwebs already solved it, but these, ca these cards all have a bit of a bend to them. I don't know if that's a... Oh, a common thing. Havoc Demon. Keldon Champion. Another Animate Dead. And we have Jareth Leonin Titan. Six mana, four seven, legendary cat for your cat commander decks. And we have uh, Avarax Foil, which looks awesome. We have an Elemental Token. I'm uh, looking forward to drafting this set. I think I've got mm, some of the archetypes down. Unfortunately, I well, not unfortunately, but I'm definitely going to do a bit more research than I normally do uh, before I draft because um, it's going to be thirty or forty dollars a draft. So, flame jab, necrotal, days, give me a foil days, and uh, Visaria the dreadful. Six mana, five, five, legendary Gorgon. And we have a Wildfire Emissary Foil. So here you have 24 packs, an MSRP of $9.99. Hopefully you'll be able to find some out there. Uh, I'm assuming based on what I saw and what I'm hearing uh, from you guys is uh, this set is obtainable, unlike the original Modern Masters print. Uh, Honden of the Infinite Rage, Flint Hoofbore, Soul Catcher, and we have Toxic Deluge, three mana. All creatures get minus X minus X for each life you pay. It's very strong. And a Foil Nature's Claim. Uh, what I would guess with this is it's going to be around opening weekend, and then after that it'll probably be gone most places. Although, I don't know. Modern Masters 2 was around for a long time. Uh, at least in single packs at my LGS. Shaman of the Pack. Annihilate. Price of Progress. And a Wasteland. There we go. There's a nice big hit. This is a card that desperately needed to be reprinted. And being reprinted at rare means uh, the price of this is definitely going to fall. But that's good. And we have an Abundant Growth. Good to see Wasteland at rare. 
even better to see it at shiny, shiny rarity, Necrotal, Extract from the Darkness, Jetting Glass Kite, and a Mother of Ruins. You may know her as Mom Simply. Solid reprint there. And we have Yavimaya Enchantress as our foil. And an Oliphant token. Oliphant. Elephant. Are we going to find a Jace the Mon Sculptor or a Mana Crypt? Faith's Fetters, Extract from Darkness, Prismatic Lens, and a Sphinx of the, our first mythic is a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Eight mana, six, six, flying, first strike, Vigilance, Lifelink, Protection from Red and Green. And we have a Foil Brago, King Eternal. Our Foil Rare is a Brago. So we had a Mythic and a Foil Rare in the same pack. Um, the Foil Brago is worth a few bucks. Um, I just opened one, actually, in... Um, the printing looks a little off in this Brago, though, doesn't it? Like a little... I don't know. Faded or something? I opened a Foil Brago in... Conspiracy. I think it was around 10 bucks. I imagine this would be around there. Timberwatch Elf. Glimmer Point... Point... Yeah, point Stag. Worn Power Stone, and a Wrath of God. Beautiful card. And a Warden of Evos Isle is our foil. So in terms of Mythics and our, well, foil rares, no foil wasteland, unlikely. But there are a lot of foils. Maybe I've even missed some that are very good. Factor Fiction, beautiful card. Uh, Lice, Alana, Scarblade, Guy's Blessing, and a Sulfuric Vortex. Very strong card in multiplayer. That's a fact. And in cube, right? And we have Ticking Gnomes. Yeah, I don't know. The foil printing seems faded to me. Or muted. The colors seem muted. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe it's the lighting or something. We have Flame Jab, Merfolk, Merfolk Looter, Him to Turak, and a Mystical Tutor. Nice hit there. Single blue, sit your library for an instant or sorcery card, reveal that card, shuffle your library, put the card on top of it. And we have Una's Grace and Foil. Yeah, definitely the color is different in these. I don't like it. Maybe it'll grow on me. We have a 5-5 five, five Wall Defender token. I guess maybe the colors pop a little bit more. I don't know why Wizards can't keep the process, like, the same. Is it like they keep trying to improve it and they just don't, or what? Juggernaut. Quiet Speculation. Shh. Thunderclap Wyvern. And a Sylvan Library. Nice hit there. Awesome reprint at rare. Two mana. Beginning of your draw step. You may draw two additional cards. If you do, choose two cards in your hand this hand. Uh, two cards in your hand drawn this turn. For each of those cards, pay four life or put the card on top of your library. Now, foil wins card, Craig. Doobie, doobie, doo. Nice hit on Sylvan Library. Brawn. Burning Vengeance. Wonder. And Malicious Affliction. And we have Blight Soil Druid as our foil. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to see any... Well, in our favor, we've only opened one Mythic. So maybe there's a Jace hanging out. Maybe we'll open another foil Jace just for old feel. Sarah Angel, Young Pyromancer. Phyrexian Ingester, and an Entomb, solid card. One black mana switcher, library for a card, and put that card in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. A foil carrion feeder. So how many of you are going to go out on Friday and later today and get this set drafted? I look forward to it, uh, mostly from a just opening more pack standpoint, because I'm a degenerate pack cracker, but... 
Honden of Life's Web. We Dragonauts. Caracas! <laughs> I got stuck, but I got too excited. Blood Artist. And uh, that's a great mythic to hit. It's uh, it's current values somewhere around 80 bucks. I mean, it's going to go down, obviously. But uh, a Krakus is a nice mythic to open. Cephalid Sage. So between Krakus, let's see, what other mythics? Jace. We've got some work to do on the price of this box, but uh, Krakus is a definitely a nice step in the right direction. Juggernaut. Chain Lightning. Ashnod's Altar. And Void. We have an Avon Rift Watcher. So we have two Mythics. I would guess three is probably around what a box might yield. Um, so maybe. Maybe, maybe. Harmonize. Harmonize. Ticking Gnomes. Quiet Speculation. And Baleful Strix. Another card that did not see uh, really any other printings, and having it reprinted seems good. Raise your alarm foil. We still have got quite a few packs to go. Hopefully we'll find our way and do some more sweet pulls. I'd be fine with, you know, another two or three Krakus, crack, crack eyes, Krakuses, Krakuses, Shaman of the Pack, Shaman of the Pack, Shaman. Honden of Night's Reach, Spirit Noble, and Sinkhole. Awesome card. Love this card. I opened one of these in my beta starter deck, too, if I remember correctly. Bollynock Cohort. And a Surf. I enjoy creating Surf tokens. I, I feel like they should have Pleb tokens, too. You know, because reasons. Uh, land Destruction. Uh, Calciderm. Honden of Inch Infinite Rage. A Messy Tome. And Duplicant. And a Foil Victimize. That looks great. Elf Warrior Token. I mean, there's so many awesome cards to open up. I mean, obviously the foils are... Are where the crazy money is, but still awesome cards like Tragic Slip. Just hanging out. Flamekin Zealot. Pyroblast. Awesome. Phyrexian Gargantua. Gargantua! And <laughs> Keramic Guide. And a Foil Curd Ape. Alright. Hey, some people might want Foil Curd Apes. Could be a thing. How many foil curd apes are there? She's playing a couple decks too. Bloodbraid Elf. <laughs> Invigorate. Honden of Cleansing Fire. And Shardless Agent. Solid rare. And a foil Bloodfell Caves. Uh-oh, last four packs. What can we possibly ask for these last four packs? Obviously, Mana Crypt or Force of Will would be pretty bananas. They're both mythic, so... Seems unlikely. Swords of Plowshares, solid. Armadillo Cloak, <laughs> awesome card as well. War Priest of Thune. And Silvos, Rogue Elemental, legendary creature for you commander players. Phyrexian Rager and Dragon Token. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother, everybody come together. Gonna put a foil for so well in the pack. Ugh. Calciderm. Gitu Slinger. The Scar Blade, and we have Diminishing Returns. Ooh, a Foil Young Pyromancer. That's a nice score. All right. 
I'll take it. By golly. Two packs left. Come on, let's finish strong. Battle Squadron. Victimize. Mishra's Factory. And a Vampiric Tutor. That's a solid mythic. I'm all right with that. Uh, search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Use two life. A Foil Mother of Ruins. That might be actually pretty spicy too. I'd have to double check, but two foil rares in the same box seems pretty good. Vampiric Tutor, a Mythic, and a Foil Rare in both packs. Both packs that had a Foil Rare um, had a Mythic in it. Hopefully that Foil Mom is something. I don't, uh, I, I don't think she's worth a ton in uh, non-foil, but it feels like there's not a ton of... Uh, Foil, maybe not. Well, last pack. So, what do we think it could be? What could it be? What could it be? How about maybe Green Sun Zenith? All right, Foil Mom is not that good. Oh wait, never mind. Thirty dollars. Woo woo! That's a good hit. All right, Vampire Tutor and Mother Runes in the same pack. Centaur Chieftain. Chain Lightning. F Ancestral Mask, Force of Will. Nope. Winter Orb. Where's the Polar Bear? And a wood Wire Wood Symbiote. Symbiote. Sim symbiote. I don't know. Overall, a pretty nice box. Foil Mother Runes, Vampiric Tutor, Foil Young Pyromancer is probably up there. Shardless Agent, Sinkhole, Caracas. Of course, that's a that's a big one. Uh, oh, Sylvan Library. I don't know if uh, we got there, but um, we'll have to look. Wasteland. Overall, pretty good. Probably pretty close to at least breaking even, and I got to share it with you guys. Make sure if you're new to the channel that you subscribe because I'm going to have several Eternal Masters box openings, as well as, obviously, interviews with pro players, interviews with magic artists. I uploaded magic artist interview this week. Uh, I invite you to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have fun drafting Eternal Masters, and we'll talk to you again real soon. What's up, and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here, where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.